Time for a conversation now that we call confronting hate. The white power rally in Virginia has raised some serious questions. How far has America really come? And it's promised to be a nation where all people are treated as equals. Well, all this week we are talking about hate in America and each evening we'll hear of the thoughts and perspectives from a different guest. Tonight, Rabbi Marvin Heyer, the founder and dean of the Simon Wiesenthal Center and the Museum of Tolerance in Los Angeles. Now, Rabbi, as we look at video from Virginia, Nazi hate slogans in public in America in 2017. To think that about 72 years after the United States lost 400,000 GIs, trying to defeat Nazism. But to see Nazis and the Klan marching in the center of our cities, it's simply uh, one of the most horrific moments that I've experienced. Why do you think that it is so vocal now? It seemed to raise its head again. The president didn't help, to say the least. I think there's blame on both sides. He should confront it in the beginning. Otherwise, these bigots and haters will see it as a sign of approval, mm. and they'll be back again and again. And we need a coalition of the good. Let's not make the same mistake that the Germans made. When Hitler started marching in the 20s, nobody paid any attention. They grew and they grew until they took over the country. And we can't let that happen here in America. I'm not for confronting them violently. Mm. The right approach is the approach of Martin Luther King, who said, nonviolence, but constant protest. I've listened to you over the years, and that has always been your message, uh, Rabbi Heyer. There was a rally in Boston. Is that what you're talking about? Uh, That's what you'd like to see. Absolutely. As soon as they, as soon as these bigots see that the American people are not going to stand for this, they're out and they're, they're expressing themselves right in the beginning, not allowing them to grow in power. Mm. That is the only way to confront them. Silence is the worst thing that we could possibly do. All right, but Rabbi, always a pleasure. Pleasure to be here. Thank you so much Thank for you. your strong words. And there are more guests all week here at 5 o'clock as we talk even more about confronting hate. Tomorrow night, Rick speaks to Alex Nogales, the CEO of the National Hispanic Media Coalition, about the group's call for the president to more forcefully deal with hate groups.